this is my European rail map. Now planning a trip is sometimes just as enjoyable as doing the trip. So I thought I'd show you how I planned it, the route I took and some of the, the paperwork involved. I live here in Sheffield. Now I booked this trip three months ago to get the best prices. From Sheffield, got a UK train. I'm actually going to King's Cross. It's only a five minute walk to St Pancras then. I'll explain why I'm doing that route later. From uh, St Pancras in London, taking the Eurostar to Paris. That comes in at Garda Nord. From Garda Nord, I've got to get to Garda Leon in the south. I'm using the RER underground train. And then the exciting bit. From Garda Leon, catching the TGV French high speed train all the way down via Leon to Montpellier in the south of France. Got a room booked there overnight. The following day, we continue the rail journey to Carcassonne. I've chose Carcassonne because it's got a cheap Ryanair flight back home. I also know the town and I'm familiar with it. So that afternoon, we just catch a flight back home to Manchester and then I have a rail ticket from Manchester Airport all the way back to, I say Sheffield, it's to Door and Totley, my local station in Sheffield. And that uh, completes the trip. I've allowed myself two days, so it should be uh, interesting. I'll go through some of the paperwork. Because when I first started planning, you thought, what was it? what's a Eurostar ticket look like? How do I get one? So I'll just show you some of the paperwork now. So those are my UK rail tickets, Sheffield to King's Cross and my rail card. The rail card is a senior rail card. You get that over 60, £30 for a year, 70 for three. Worth, that, worth its weight in gold. Make sure you go on the trains as you save 30% on every journey. The, the journey from Sheffield to King's Cross three months ago was £30. A little tip here, that, that exact journey, I looked on train line and I just tried different combinations and I got Sheffield to Peterborough, £5. Peterborough to London King's Cross, £15. So by splitting the journey, I got it for fifteen quid, uh, for £20 instead of £30. You can do that with a lot of journeys. I don't know why, but split your long journeys. So, next item, my Eurostar ticket. Again, booked in advance. Uh, just run the ticket off um, as a download and that's all you need. You just use the barcode to get through the, the barriers, get onto the train. Quite expensive, even three months in advance it was um, £56 that. So we then want to get across Paris. Now you don't want to be queuing at a ticket machine. Time's precious. You want an hour at least to get across from Garda Nord to Garda Leon. I bought these online. It was a, a book of 12 underground tickets. One of those will get you one journey. You can use them any time, they're not dated. Saves a lot of time when your time's precious, moving uh, station to station. Again, just bought online, £15 for the, for the 12. So, now for the exciting bit. TGV ticket. This is Paris, Gade Leon to Montpellier. 
Second class was 30 euros, first class was 42. So I thought, yeah, let's go first class. Again, just that barcode. So it's a downloaded uh, e-ticket. That's my hotel for the night in Montpellier. Single room, basic room, uh, about 60 euros, I think. Following morning, we're back on the TGV. That's um, Montpellier to Carcassonne, about 150 miles. It's actually setting class. I want to do a comparison, see what the setting class was like. 15 euros. And the next item, I've done my train trip. I just want to get back to the UK quickly. That's a Ryanair air, air ticket, um, 18 euros to fly all the way back. I just can't believe how cheap it is. I've only got a, a rucksack, so no luggage really, just a carry-on hand luggage. So that's my Ryanair flight back. And then, last two bits. Manchester Airport to Sheffield or Doran Totley, my local station. Book it as a direct ticket. It was, I think, £17. That's with my senior rail card discount. I split it into two tickets. £2.60 to get back to up to Manchester. Eight quid to get to Sheffield. So again, £10 just be splitting the tickets. Save nearly half. And for anybody who's interested, that's, call it my kit list of what I took. I'm only away for 48 hours. So that's basically the gear I needed. No spare clothing, cameras and phones, etc. are more important than uh, spare clothing. So that's uh, the planning stage over. I'll see you down at uh, Sheffield Midland Station tomorrow morning. See you then. Good morning then. Well, that's the worst bit over. Just cycled all the way down here, about four miles, quarter to five in the morning. Not done me any good at all. Gonna head out onto the platform and I'll talk you out there. There's a few little things that's changed overnight. See you in a bit. Outside the uh, Sheffield Tap, one of my favourite pubs. Not open though, it is only half five in the morning. Anyway, like I say, a few things happened. Uh, about tea time yesterday, I got a text on my phone from the French railways to say, my uh, train to Paris to Montpellier was still on, uh, but the French uh, railway unions are on strike, so the majority of the services have been cancelled. It's affected Eurostar, but luckily my Eurostar is still on. I don't think the French Metro will be working, but I'll have to see. So things have changed, it looks like it's going to be an interesting trip. So. I'll see you down at St Pancras. See you then. Just got off the train at uh, King's Cross. Uh, it's just a five minute walk uh, across to uh, St Pancras. Uh. So that, that's St Pancras station over there. And here we are at St Pancras. Go and look for Eurostar terminal now.
ten twenty four, that's my train. So we're in St Pancras now. Beautiful station this. You could spend a few hours just wandering around looking at the station. On the far side over there, you can see a Eurostar that's just pulled in. So this is the uh, departure lounge. On 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sorted. There's the destination board. You can see my train's 1024. Quite lucky the uh, the two later Paris ones are cancelled due to the strike. So I'll go and find my carriage, uh, number six I think it is. Just arriving into Paris now. Just leaving the train at Paris now. The tracks outside are deserted, so I don't think there's uh, many trains running at all. Anyway, make our way up the platform. So, I've got off the train at Paris and at uh, Gare du Nord. As we came in, could see very few trains uh, about. So, I reckon the strike has uh, affected a lot of the local trains as well as the uh, international ones. So, what I've decided to do, I'm going to walk to uh, Gare de Lyon where I need to catch my train to the south of France it's not bad it's only four kilometers so I reckon I'll do it in an hour and luckily I've left myself um, two hours my train isn't till till four o'clock so this is Gare de Nord not the prettiest of ones looks a bit shabby But I'm not going to hang about here. I'll be happy when I've uh, got down to Gare de Lyon. Mesdames, Messieurs, bonjour. Un moment social interprofessionnel perturbe fortement la circulation des trains aujourd'hui au départ de Gare du Nord. Dans la mesure. I don't know if this was such a good idea to walk. Um, looks like I've just met the strikes. Wow, I are only out for a simple train trip around Europe. Can't see for the smoke. It's not like this in England.
not see a thing. Trying to catch. Wow, I didn't expect that. I've just left all the demonstrations. Uh, Armata Palace de la Republique, and they had walked down Rue, Rue de um, oh, Magenta Boulevard, and that's where all the protesters were or the I suppose it's the unions uh, but there were smoke there were firecrackers there were everything going off talk about exciting I was just on a, a quiet rail trip anyway I'm about halfway to Leon uh, Garda Leon so I'll be happy when I'm down there now wow did you see that I only came for a quiet train trip to the south of France and next minute I'm in the middle of a smoke filled street firecrackers going off chanting flags waving which is obviously the Paris demonstrations and part of the strike I didn't expect to get caught up in that that was on Rue de la uh, Boulevard Magenta anyway I'm uh, south of uh, Bastille at the moment I'm only about 10 minutes from Gardaly and where I'm heading so it's Pat Dickinson the Paris demonstrations March the 22nd 2018 signing out see you then so I made it Gardaly on it's take me an hour it's uh, bang on three o'clock and my train isn't due till four what a beautiful building Really impressive. Anyway, I better go inside and make sure I have got a train running. So this is Gare de Leon. Would appear it's got two halls. This is hall one and my train goes from hall two. So I've got to go and find that. If you look up there, I don't know if you can see it, that's La Train Bleu, a very expensive restaurant. I thought I'd nip in, but my train's due soon, so I'm not going to have time. So I think I'll go and find the other hall and see if my train's in. So this is Gare de Lyon where a lot of trains depart for the south of France, Pyrenees, Bordeaux, that sort of area. I do know my train is running, I've already confirmed that. Just having a quick look round. So up there, there's the, that's the destination board. You can board the train 20 minutes before it leaves so I'm just waiting for the platform number to come up at least I know I'm going so this is a TGV this is what I'm travelling down to Montpellier on it's a big thing it's a double decker and I'm travelling in style, I'm travelling first class on the upper deck 
this should be a very enjoyable journey. I have never been on one of these before. So I've got to go and find my carriage number three now. So this is a first class carriage, armchair style seating, electric reclining seats. That's a duo seat, that's a side by side and you're facing uh, seats for four with a table in the middle. Plenty of leg room, worth it for an extra 12 euros. Just south of Leon now. <laughs> what a beautiful sunset. Well, I'm outside Montpellier railway station, uh, about 7.30 now. Um, took about three and a half hours from Paris. 600 miles, so nearly 200 miles an hour. Not bad going. So I'm spending the night here. I've got a room booked. I'm going to find me, me hotel, get booked in. Probably go out for something to eat. A um, couple of beers or even a bottle of wine as we're in France. And then I'll, we might judge you later. Otherwise, I'll see you back at uh, Montpellier station tomorrow and we carry the rail journey on to, to Carcassonne. So I'll talk to you later. See you then. Bonjour. It's 10 o'clock at night and I am in Montpellier station. I came out the wrong entrance earlier, got completely lost, spent an hour looking for my hotel which I eventually found, only for the owner to tell me the station's about 400 yards away. But you live and learn. Anyway, this is the modern part of uh, Montpellier station. Very nice. I'd come out underneath and headed off into the wrong part of town. But I've had my meal. I'm just uh, having a quick look round, a bit of a recce, so I know what to expect tomorrow. So I'm going to head back now, get some sleep, because I definitely need some, and I'll see you back here in the morning. See you then. Good morning again. Back outside uh, Montpellier station. So, a little bit more rail travel today. We've only got a short journey. So, going from Montpellier down to Sete, Bézier, and up to Carcassonne. And then from Carcassonne, I've got a flight home this afternoon. It was uh, the quickest way of getting home, really. Now, yesterday, we actually did probably in the region of uh, 1100 rail miles yesterday so I've got about another 150 200 to do today to get me up to Carcassonne and then um, flying home 700 800 mile flight home so it'll make it like 2,000 mile round trip in two days but great time great time so I'm going to have a look, see if my uh, train's due, um, it's supposed to be here at 9 o'clock, it's, it's only quarter past 8 so I've got plenty of time. So I'll talk to you in a bit then, see you then. That's the destination board and mine's the 8.59 to Toulouse. Just pulling into 
Sete now, first sight of the Mediterranean. Can just make out the snow capped Pyrenees. Made it to uh, Carcassonne OK. I've uh, just got off the train. It's about 11 o'clock. Uh, I could have stayed on that train all day. What a beautiful journey. You've got the uh, blue Mediterranean one side. Then I saw the snow on the Pyrenees. Beautiful countryside. Um, I just didn't want it to end, but uh, I've got a plane back to Manchester at half past two. It's 11 o'clock now, so I've not got too long. There's a shuttle bus to the airport. Uh, I've sussed that out. That's at 12.40. So I've just time to, to nip into Carcassonne. There's a nice square you can sit in, so I'll head in there. Hopefully, a uh, nice pint of beer would go down a treat and uh, get a sandwich for later. So, my torch in the square, otherwise I'll, uh, I'll see you at the airport. See you then. This is the square I mentioned in the centre of Carcassonne. Beautiful little spot this. Oh, there is a bar there. I think we may have to go and have a look. Oh, beautiful. Red bomb. This is heaven. Beautiful little square to sit out this, enjoy a beer, glass of wine. Just nice. Very quiet, but I dare say in summer a lot busier. <laughs> I wonder if I rang my wife and uh, said I'd miss the flight, she'd believe me. And I've got to stay here a couple more days till I get a flight on Sunday. Perhaps not. Right, enjoyed those few drinks. I'm actually at Carcassonne Airport now, and you ain't gonna believe this. What a trip. Caught their shuttle bus, there were two lads on it. They said this morning they dropped the bikes off in Carcassonne. He was near a military law police station. White Peugeot pulled up, bang, bang, shot one of the police officers. Now, from what I've heard, he is okay. What the one of the lads said, it gave him his T-shirt to stop the bleeding. So that's how near they were. Anyway, from what we've heard from them, there's uh, terrorists in the area. 
they now take hostages. I think other people have been killed. There's police swarming all over. I say I'm at the airport. They don't know what's happening. They've shut the airport. There's no planes coming in or out at the moment. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what's happening. We're all pretty safe here, but somewhere not far from here, uh, the, there are hostages being held. So we'll just see what happens. Um, I think I'll be glad to get back to Manchester and Sheffield. Uh, when that will be, I don't know. I will talk to you in a bit. See you then. Bonjour, mes amis. I'm still here. I'm still in France. I'll tell you what happened. After I last spoke to you, went back into the airport. They then basically shut down the airport. They diverted the incoming Manchester flight and basically told us all there'll be no flights out. It's on lockdown. The whole area was. So it left a whole plane load of us with nowhere to go. They said you'd help you out. It was a Ryanair flight. I stood in a queue for an hour. Nothing seemed to be happening. The alternatives was the next flight was Friday today. The next flight was Monday, but that were fully booked. Or they might get you to other airports and then on to the UK. But nothing was happening so I decided to make my own way back make my own way back a lot of people did it was like people you could hear people saying come on if we if we make it to Bordeaux we might be able to get a flight there there's other people saying well we're off to uh, Barcelona we think get out of Barcelona you might get back I wasn't sure so anyway I decided to get back to the railway station um, from there I got a train back to Montpellier, where I am now. I was familiar with the place, having been there the night before. I booked myself back in the same hotel because it was easy. Uh, that's where I am now. From what I heard, the which will have, you'll have heard on the news already, um, uh, terrorist is shot an off-duty policeman. Then he held up a car, shot the passenger dead, took the car, then went to a supermarket. I believe he shot two people dead there and he, he was holed up there. And then the police went in and they've ended up shooting him, but I don't know how many people were injured. Uh, I just picked bits upon my phone. So from that, like I say, I decided to get back to Montpellier I rang my wife at home, um, looking at the different options. And what I've decided to do, I've booked a TGV back up to Paris tomorrow morning, 6.35, quite early. And then I reckon I can pick a flight up from Charles de Gaulle Airport and I'll get back to Manchester. There's one around mid-afternoon, I think. But if he, there's talk of air traffic controllers on strike. So, at least if I get up there early, I've got different options. So, quite an eventful two days, quite an eventful two days. I've got enough footage to make, I don't know how many videos at the moment, so I won't film any more. But what I'll do, I'll torture when I get back to Sheffield, let you know when I got back, the rough outcome and that. But, uh I can't believe it. So, au revoir. I'll see you hopefully later tomorrow. Bye bye. Nearly home now. Finally, I'm nearly back home. Back to grey skies. I, I left my car here. Uh, I'm at my local station, Doran Totley. 
I left my car here Wednesday night so I can drive straight back I'll be back in five minutes but this morning I uh, half past six I got the TGV up to Paris so at Paris at 10 o'clock uh, from there I got a bus from Gare de Lyon straight up to Charles de Gaulle airport and then got a flight back to Manchester about 2.30 and I uh, actually got a little plane with propellers I'd been wanting to go on one of them for ages um, but yeah that was my flight back to uh, to Manchester and then another train straight over here so nearly home it just shows if you go looking for adventure adventure will find you whether it's a, a wild camp just traveling or just a simple train uh, trip there's adventure waiting there to be uh, experienced and that I love France I like the I like the food I like the resorts I love the beaches but it seems to be going through troubled times at the moment but uh, it's not going to put me off um, I'm actually booked on the Eurostar in May uh, myself and my wife we're going over to Paris for a couple of days so it won't put me off I'll still go back I do like the place anyway feeling a little weary so I'm gonna make my way back home now I hope you have enjoyed this one a little bit different and unexpected certainly an experience so I'll say bye and I'll uh, I'll see you in a few weeks time see you then bye then